and welcome to the Juggle Let's R Us. This is our show. The Juggle Family Vloggers. And I'm Batgirl Jamie. I'm Twisted J. <coughs> We're here to talk to you guys about something we just discovered a couple days ago. Our minimum wage for Michigan went up to nine nine eight ninety. Eight ninety. <coughs> and I've noticed I've noticed when I was looking on the internet, because I went and picked, a, a, went for this, for the Michigan where minimum wage for each state. There's still states making seven twenty-five. And a lot of them are southern-based states. And I'm really, really that really hurts my feelings that pe they think people deserve only seven twenty-five. Yeah. Um. <coughs> I I look at it when gas, when gas, and food, and everything we have to buy. It's pretty friggin' expensive. And they only think that they deserve seven twenty five and we deserve nine something. When I know that in Georgia the cheap cheaper apartments in some areas are a lot of money and uh, like almost double what apartment the same apartment would be here. Oh yeah. That's not right that they're they're not getting paid enough to live. Oh yeah. My gripe is that's why. Do, why do you think there's so many homeless people in this country? It saddens me that there's homeless people. That people have to live on the street, not because they're a drug addict, not because they are sick or disabled and can't work, because the places of businesses only pay them seven twenty-five an hour. Exactly. It's I'm like, sad. I remember seeing when we got up to seven twenty-five. And we were still kind of struggling at the time because everything was so god awfully expensive. They raised minimum wage, but for God's sakes, they're going to make a fortune more if they don't raise prices because we're going to buy more. But if you raise the prices to accommodate, you're just drawing us back into a hole exactly. where we can't afford it again. And you're going to lose money because we're, you cannot raise one item a dollar because we, you, the minimum wage goes up 40 cents. That's, exactly. not a, that's not cost efficient. That's going to lose you sales because now they're going to say, well, is this thing worth what, what you're charging for it now? What's it, what's it cost somewhere else? Is it worth that, that price hike? Sometimes it's not worth it and you're going to screw yourself the company's going to screw themselves out of sales <laughs> because you're going to go to that other store where it's cheaper because I'm going to go to wherever I can get the most for my money if it's not so that one store I'm going to go to this other store and that store is going to end up going out of business because they price, price jack themselves out of business oh, yeah. sometimes small businesses don't realize that you've got to charge only you can't sh you can't overcharge for something because it's not worth it. It's gonna pr a lot of small businesses go out of business because they try to price jack themselves out of business. They price jack themselves out of business by not by trying to to make more money to accommodate the minimum wage hike. But then they don't realize that there might be a store down the road that's keeping it the same. Exactly. And if and if it's only a few seconds down the road from where your where your store is, you're gonna lose your store. Or you're just not going to be able to sell that item anymore. Exactly. But, like I said, I feel sad for the people that are making minimum wage that still cannot barely afford their bills. Because I'm one of those people, and he's one of those people. We're, yeah. We don't make a lot of money. We don't make a lot of money, and it's not fair that they treat people with disabilities as different. Exactly. And don't or, don't think that they deserve hours just as much as a normal person. <clears throat> exactly. I think that a lot of places, I think if a place of business is established to help people with disability, then they need to stick to that. Exactly. I really do feel like that too. That's hypocritical. We didn't start working at a place of business for that, to have that happen. But like I said, I feel sorry for the people in the South that their apartments are really, could be as expensive as up here. Oh, yeah. <coughs> like, 
like some of them are just as expensive as up here, but they're only making minimum wage. Exactly. And it, at a minimum wage job, because of Obamacare, they don't want to give you full-time hours because they don't want to pay your insurance. So they'll just have extra employees. Mm -hmm. That's sad. And it hurts, hurts me to know that people are struggling worse than I could be. Exactly. Um, if it wasn't for my sister, I don't know what I would do. And I feel very grateful for my oppor the opportunity, the, the help I get with everything. Oh, yeah. And from my parents and everything. And I just lo love you guys for watching these videos and supporting us. We don't make any money off this. We haven't made any money in over a year on this channel. We've made it, but we haven't earned it enough to get... We haven't actually got a paycheck from this in over a year. It's, it's actually so you can't... We, we've only made, like, maybe... We're lucky if we made 40 bucks in the past year and a half. So, guys, if you could keep watching our videos and share our videos and help us make that little bit to help us with some finances that we need, might need, like, food for us and more business cards to help promote us and just to help us make better videos. That's what we use the money for, is to help us make better videos. Just so you know where that money is going so it's not just going to frivolous spending. We, we get food and we uh, get supplies for our web show. So if you want to see us make better videos, watch more of our videos and get the views up. And help us get the views up and once that happens, you'll see us make better, more creative videos and bigger videos. That's our straight, straight um, thing we have to say. My, my gripe, okay, my little thing that we both agree on is that the federal minimum wage should be what our minimum wage is. Exactly. It really so should that be. the whole country can benefit. Calif like New York's minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour. Ours is nine forty, and then right. and then Kentucky. Nine forty. I mean, I mean eight ninety. Ours is eight ninety, and then in Kentucky they're making. Oh, I think they're only making seven twenty five. Yeah, that's minimum. that's an example. That's minimum. That's minimum. Any state is allowed to pay. By the federal government. Like the federal government thinks that we don't need to make more money. But how do they think that they're going to get more tax dollars if they don't? we don't make more money? The more exactly. money we make, the more money they get. Exactly. So remember that. Treat your... And I think my gripe is places of businesses want good workers, but they treat their workers like shit. Because they don't know how to... If you don't treat your, if you treat your employees good, they're going to be good workers. If you treat them like crap, they're not going to be good workers, and they're not going to stay. If you want your employees to stay, you need to treat them kindly. Remember this. We love you, guys. Thanks for watching. Ladies, Anything you got to say about this? Uh, not really. What do you say about the way employees, tr employers treat employees? Do you think they could treat them better and they would have better I, I think employees? they really, I think they really could treat them better, but they got oh, upper. No. I think people that work in the uh, upper offices that don't work, never worked in the regular stores, shouldn't have a say on what goes on in the store because they, to an extent, let the manager handle it because the manager knows what it takes to do it, but they don't trust them. They need to be more trusting towards their manager and let them trust that they know what they're doing, until they prove it that they can't trust them and then they can get a different manager exactly. like, like our manager knows what she's doing but they won't they don't they don't let her have full control like I don't like that I think that's that's not trusting your employees and if you can't trust your employees who can you then then the employees are gonna trust them because you don't trust them exactly like I can't trust like I can't trust a manager that our um, upper management doesn't trust that's just Common sense. If they're treating them bad, that makes you think, well, maybe they're not a good manager. Maybe they're not going to be here longer. But I like it when a manager's around for a long time and they do good. Like the one manager exactly. we had that I really, really, there's a couple managers that I really liked. And when they left, I was so sad. Exactly. But that's the way life goes. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check out Twisted J's channel. Yeah. Check out mine. We thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe, leave a comment if you got any other video ideas. Um, we thank you for watching, we thank you for subscribing, and we thank you for being here, 
and we will be back with a new video very very soon. Actually, I'll be doing a lot. And we're gonna this have week. A, we're gonna have another video from him within the next few days because he's going to do a couple videos soon. I'm actually gonna be I'm actually <coughs> working on quite a bit of stuff, but but one of them is actually coming up real soon. But we'll be back later. Later. Bye. Bye. Keep that.